cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 ibo kwenu we cha 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 ibo kwenu we abia kwenu we anambra kwenu we ebonyi kwenu we enugu kwenu we imo kwenu we Nigeria kwenzu ono Hello friends, families and loved ones I welcome you all once again to my Igbo segment called Let's Learn Everything About the Igbo My name is Mazi Bio a full-fledged Igbo son and teacher of Igbo language culture and traditions including general issues that affect our lives, the lives of the Igbo and the lives of the non-Igbo. Today, we are going to talk about an interesting topic. Every meeting of ours here provides a very important topic. That's, that I assure you. All right. Every topic we come up with today promises to be fulfilling promises to be educative, promises to be informative. That's what I assure you. All right. Today, we are going to talk about um, another interesting topic called Emma Mo. Emma Mo. This is practiced in the Igbo land. I know some other tribes as well, non-Igbo tribes. Uh, could have this as well, but I am talking about my own tribes, the Igbo tribe. No, okay, so that Emma Mong uh, in English is called being initiated into masquerade cult. Yeah, being an initiate into the masquerade, masquerade cult. All right, that's the meaning. Okay, now, um, masquerade is not just something uh, anybody could just get up and uh, begin to make moves, like um, trying to sing their songs, trying to kind of uh, reveal some of their secrets. Even though, even um, after you've been initiated, you know, even as one of the initiates, you do not have a right to open your mouth to divulge their secrets because the secrets the uh, masquerades and you know the masquerade house is esoteric the secrets are esoteric they are not meant for the public eye that is the shot of it's just um you know things done behind the cameras i usually say so they are not something that anybody can come out and say whether or not you are an initiate so those things are just meant for the inner caucus, those who belong in the court. Okay. But the songs, well, can be allowed to be sung by people, the non initiates. It doesn't really matter. But there are some movements you have to make that they will hold you then and sanction you. You'll be fine. That's what I mean by sanction. You'll be thoroughly fined. Then you have to pay whatever uh, you are asked to pay. Because you, for number one, you have broken their law. Yeah, one of their laws, you've broken them. And you'll be made to face the music. You'll be dealt with thoroughly. Then you have to do all you should be done. And most times, those people who have broken the laws of the masquerades eventually become members <laughs> of the masquerading group. They will be forced to join. Because after some things, they will do you certain things. In most towns in Igbo land, after you've been made to pay certain uh, dues, that is um, the fines, monetary fines, uh, then they will kind of initiate you they, by compulsion. It's not willing this time. You don't have to say, okay, I want to be initiated. This time around, you are compelled to be initiated. So once you've been initiated, other things done to anybody, all the initiates, so automatically, <laughs> you can go back and say you are not one of them. You become one of them by compulsion. You didn't do that willingly, but you become one of the initiates. 
So that's the way it is. So people really avoid breaking their laws so that they wouldn't be initiated. It's not something uh, all about, okay, this is a sum of money you've got to pay. And once you've done that, then you're free. You're totally free. No, there could be some torture you have to undergo. The tortures given to those who want to be initiated. So every initiate underwent some, such a physical tortures. And um, apart from the monetary aspect of it, some other things that are done they also underwent those things so uh, most times like mine it's not just paying fines monetary fines like i said you'll be made to go through those uh, tortures and other things undergone by every typical initiate so get the point very well so when you were being initiated as i said uh, when we started i said um, there are things that are done for one to be initiated. Those things are done off camera. That's behind the camera. They are esoteric. They are shot out from the public eye. Okay, so that's what that word esoteric means. Okay, so now, there they will teach you about the leaves of the masquerade. They will teach you about the mother of the masquerade, the father of the masquerade. They will tell you all about uh, the relations of the masquerade. These things are known by those who are initiates. The initiates will not even divulge any of them to you. So once you know about anybody, and the person knows about uh, the leaves of the masquerade, Akukomo has uh, been called by I the Igbo, uh, you know, the uh, father of the masquerade, Namo has been called by the Igbo, or in Igbo language. Then you hear the mother of the masquerade, uh, Nemong has been uh, said in Igbo land. So, and some other things, you know, uh, and the Nimong, the food of the masquerade. All these things, you, you, you need not know them, but you definitely those things we know that there are things one have to know, one has to know, things one has to, under, you know, uh, get into before the person will be able to know. Or is that simple initiation? The person has to be initiated, otherwise, they would not be able to, you know, um, tell what all these, you know, are. And remember, you are cautioned after you've been initiated not to divulge any of the secrets. The secrets have to remain with you until you leave this earth and join your ancestor. Okay. Where I come from, both the women, the, the women gender and the male gender, can be initiated. It's not being um, um, a, masquer a masquerader or a member of the masquerade court. It doesn't have to. You don't have to be a man. It doesn't have to be someone who is a man. Both women can also join. You understand? And they too are advised or instructed or are ordered never to divulge any of the secrets. When you hear, two, when two people who are initiates are discussing the masquerade and everything that is found within the enclosure of the masquerade, and they see someone, they call that person, whoever that is, that is not an initiate is called Obede. Obede, that's what the Igbo call that person. It's a non initiate, so they call the person Obede. So once they see an Obede coming, they will shut up. Even while they were, you know, while they are discussing the masquerade and everything that entails the masquerade, and see someone coming, they are always watchful as to know when someone is coming. And if you are one of them, they will keep discussing, knowing that uh, there is no harm, even even if you get to know about what they are talking about. It's only when you are not an initiate because they know who is who, except. Where one of them does not know that a particular person has been initiated, probably he was not around when the other person was initiated. So if the person is coming, if you're home-based, as long as you're home-based, you should be able to know who uh, initiators, I mean, initiated ones are and those who have not been initiated. So once an initiate starts approaching, where you people are having a conversation that uh, you know, uh, uh, surrounds uh, the masquerade, masquerading and everything that has to do with the masquerade. So you call yourselves to, to all that and they just shut up until the person passes. 
Now, if I, you know, among you, one of you does not know that the person coming hasn't been initiated, he will only ask, or she will ask, is the person an obede? That is the person, is the person coming uh, a, a non-initiate? So the other person who is home-based knows who and who has been initiated. Okay, so he or she will now tell uh, the person with whom he or she has been having that conversation or is having the conversation that that person coming is either an obede or not an obede. I've told you what an obede means in the masquerade world. So it's the language they will use, we will not understand. So that's just um, um, about the, you know, uh, knowing or being initiated into the masquerade world. All right, so um, where I come from is held in esteem. And they don't toy with anything that has to do with a masquerade. So you have to be initiated for you to be allowed to sing their song, especially the ones that are esoteric. There are so many songs you can sing, but there are some that are esoteric. You don't sing them. You don't sing any of them. So those ones are purely for the initiates. So once you any of the initiates hears you sing, hears or sees you sing that song, you are in big shit, man. So you're going to face uh, the punishment. You have to go through the punitive measures that have been set aside for the lawbreakers of the masquerade or the masquerade world. So that's the way it is. Um, it's an interesting thing you know, to those who believe in masquerading, especially the ones that are not harmful, because there are some masquerades that are harmful. I will talk about that when we will discuss about when we do, when we will discuss uh, masquerading itself. This time around, we're talking about um, being initiated into the masquerade world. So the next time we meet here, we'll be talking about how um, masquerades are displayed. Understand? You know, there are things I wouldn't tell you because they are esoteric. So don't expect me to divulge them. Okay? That's just it. That's all I have to tell you. So please don't be inquisitive in this aspect. Just take it the way I have said it or have explained it. Don't ask questions, you know, about um, how one gets initiated. Apart from all you've heard me explain here. All right, guys, that's all for now. It's from me to you. Have a good night, rest. Bye bye. Love you all.